Now pull it back nice and far, or the watermelon will never clear the house across the street. <laughs> to slam the door in the middle of a launch sorry Derek I'm just really angry right now <laughs> what I miss kids angry about something oh that's terrible <laughs> are you okay <laughs> yeah I'll be fine it's just Lana, the hottest girl in my class, dumped me after one date. Oh, no way! Tough break. Yeah, now she's going out with Bryce Johnson, captain of the football team. Bryce oh, is a dream. stone cold fox. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. When you're a rock star, you can have any girl you want. And even some you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Women are nothing but trouble. The only one I can count on is this little lady right here, Derricka. <laughs> Gee, Derek, how'd you come up with that name? It's not as complicated as you might think. I just put an A at the end of my name. <laughs> you should give your guitar a name, kid. It might help you get over Lana. Just don't name it Lana, because that'd be a constant reminder that she dumped you for a way better looking dude. <laughs> Thanks, Berger. You want to bring up his better grade point average, too? Wow. He really is the complete package, isn't he? <laughs> All right, I'll name my guitar. Yeah! I'll name her after the first girl I ever had a crush on. Angie. Whatever happened to her? Bryce Johnson stole her from me in kindergarten. This Bryce kid sounds great. Does he play guitar? <laughs> no! Reload the sleet shot! Yeah! Oh, wait! Well, we're out of watermelon. Good. The watermelon only slowed me down. <laughs> Help load me in, Burger. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, who's that? He's still mad about that girl dumping him. Yeah, we should probably just give him some space. Yo, bro, can you pass the dip? <laughs> <laughs> Even I saw that one coming. Hey, man, can you pass me my drink? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if I'm taking this out on you guys. She's in a really bad mood. That's cool, dude. Just save that anger. We need it tomorrow for Tug of War Tuesday. I'm not even in the mood for Tug of War Tuesday. What? what? You can't miss Tug of War Tuesday. We need the teams to be even. Yeah, it can't just be me and Derek against Burger. It has to be you, me, and Derek against Burger. <laughs> Remember what happened last time you missed a match? Got him right where we want him. He's not going to be able to pull us forever. Yes, he is. He's pulling us forever. Fine, I'll be at Tug of War Tuesday. Yeah. Hey, mixed martial arts! Is that Ernesto? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's our old roadie. He used to carry all our guitars on stage, our amps on stage, us on stage. 
Yeah, we were quite lazy back then. Yeah, back then. This Thursday at the West Valley Coliseum, see me, Ernesto the Pesto, in a steel cage match, grounding and pounding ugly Dave Uggerson into baby powder. Then, I'm going to take that baby powder, spread it all over my massive thighs to prevent chafing. <laughs> Be there! It's going to rain! Hey! It's huge! He looks like he would eat a car! <laughs> Whoa, he's eating a car! <laughs> you was your roadie? Yeah, we used to have some crazy times with old Ernesto. Who'd have thought he'd want to become a mixed martial arts fighter? He used to say every day he wanted to become a mixed martial arts fighter. Yeah, but who listened to him? <laughs> Ernesto's lucky. He gets to take out all his anger by punching stuff. But it'd make me feel better about Lana if I could... Punch stuff. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch bamboo slam kick. Push up. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch bamboo slam kick. Hey, why you stop? That's all I got. But there's still so much stuff I want to punch. Oh, that song actually worked. Yeah. I don't feel so angry anymore. Yeah. In fact, tomorrow at school, I'm going to get Lana back. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go get her, man. Encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had that song stuck in my head. It's back on. Lana dumped the jock and went for the rock. That's a boy. <laughs> How'd you do it? Oh, I laid on the charm. I made her laugh. I may have spread a rumor that Bryce Johnson saves his farts in a jar. <laughs> yeah, the key is you gotta get the lid on right away. It really is a two-man job. You know it, brother. So, when are you and Lana going out again? Tonight. What, tonight? What about Tug of War Tuesday? Don't worry, I found someone to replace me. Yeah, remember what happened last time you found someone to replace you? Why do we keep doing this? I don't know! Well, look, I think this replacement will work much better than Mr. Taguchi from down the block. Plus, he's an old friend of yours. Oh. Ernesto the Besto. What? what? You invited Ernesto here? Yeah. Oh, I oh, thought you'd want to see him while he's oh, in town. Oh, oh. You said you had crazy times together. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that he hates us and wants to do bad things to us. But you said Ernesto was a great guy. He is a great guy. We were the jerks. <laughs> Before we start the concert, our roadie Ernesto would like to make a very special announcement to his girlfriend, Julie. Hey, Julie. Come on, Ernesto. Come on. Mom, Dad, I'm so glad you could be here for, well, the happiest moment of my life. Julie, I love you. Will you marry me? Guys! Guys! You promise not tonight! I am Weasel! I'm gonna destroy you! Julie never did marry him. I wonder what ever happened to her. Well, we dated for a couple of months, and we lost touch. <laughs> Ernesto was so mad about the pantsing, he swore the next time he saw us, he was going to rip off our arms and yank off our ears. That'd be a bummer. Then I'd be like my cousin Otis. He doesn't have arms or ears? Nah, he's just always really bummed about stuff. <laughs> Maybe Ernesto's forgiven you by now. It was a long time ago. Where are you, Iron Weasel? I'm going to destroy you. Oh, we're out back in the garage. The door's open. Wait. The door's not open. Oh, good. There you are. It's gonna rain pain. I don't think so. Casey Storm Channel 7 said, Sunny all week. Are you sure you want to do this, Ernesto? It's five against one. 
Go get Mr. Takuchi. I'm an Ernesto Nabesto, and you ruined my life. Now, I'm gonna rip off your arms and your ears. Wait, Ernesto! Mr. Nabesto! <laughs> Look, I know you're mad at them for ruining your proposal. And Derek dating Julie. What? You dated Julie? He didn't know that. <laughs> Wait, no. I called you here because they want to make it up to you by giving you a peace offering. Something that will totally help you kick butt in the ring. A song. A song? You think a song is going to keep me from ripping off their arms? You forgot ears. Why did I do that? It's not just a song. It's your entrance music. Like all great fighters have. Punch up. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch man. Punch That's good. It's beautiful yet angry. Yeah. Like Julie when I'd headbutt her good morning. <laughs> you guys wrote this for me? Yep, we did. And you could play it every time you enter the ring. Oh, in the living room. That's fun, too. <laughs> I'll accept your peace offering. <sighs> now, let me hear the rest of it. Uh, well, that's all there is. That's it? That's going to get me like three steps towards the ring. Then what am I supposed to do? Hunt the rest of the way down? You think that's gonna help? Not if you go into it with that negative attitude. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll finish it in time for your fight. You'd better. And it better be good. Because if I don't like it, Friday becomes die day. <laughs> your fight's on Thursday. Yeah, I know, but nothing runs with Thursday. I mean, well, that's true. That's right. Nothing does. Thursday, Thursday. Guys, what? what? Just have it to me by Thursday, all right? Or I'm gonna rip your heads no. off. Well, if you rip our heads off first, you can just skip the ears. I mean, you're just making more work for yourself. <laughs> you at lunch, Lana. Yeah, that class is hard. <laughs> You're pretty. I know, right? We need to talk. Uh, I'm talking to Lana. That's okay. I don't have any more words to say. <laughs> So this is what you've been doing while well, we've been worried about getting dismembered by Ernesto, making kissy face instead of finishing our song? Don't worry, I finished it during math class. Or as Lana calls it, number school. <laughs> right, let's hear it, lover boy. Okay. Punch up! I wanna punch stuff! I wanna punch stuff! I wanna punch bam boom slam kick! Wanna watch my punches land While you hold my other hand Life is great when I'm with you Wouldn't you like to punch up too? I wanna punch, kiss, hug, sing, dance Why am I toes tapping? Why am I bobbing my head? Why am I holding hands with Ash? <laughs> no! No! This can't be Ernesto's entrance song. It's way too happy. We need the second half to be as angry as the first half. Guys, I've really tried. But since I got back together with Lana, I guess I'm just too happy to write an angry song. Why don't you do it? You're professional musicians. He's right. We can write one angry song. We can't write one angry song. What was that kid thinking? It's obvious we can't finish this without him. We have to make him angry like he was when he wrote the first part. All right, I'm on it. I'm gonna go say something real mean to him. What's up there, short stack? Not much. What about you, Curly Sue? <laughs> He's a monster. <laughs> You know what? You're right. 
I should be eating healthier. Thanks for looking out for me, man. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave you hanging. How does that feel, eh? Oh, I can't do it. Big up. I said big ups, but I only gave him little ups. Go finish him off. Don't worry. I got this. So, Trip, been reading your diary. Bet that makes you pretty angry. Not really. That's my mom's diary. <laughs> Are you sure, Mr. What Was I Thinking, letting these three stupid rockers move in with my son? Oh. Hey. All right, we give up. What's it going to take to make you angry enough to finish I Want to Punch stuff? Just tell us and we'll do it. Guys, I know you need the song, but I can't help it if I'm happy. But I got everything. I've got Lana, I've got Angie. I forget, which one's the girl and which one's the guitar? Oh, I wrote this down. Lana, girl, Angie, guitar, pick up grandma at airport. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sure she has money for a cab. Guys, don't worry about Ernesto. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure he's not gonna do anything. Oh, it's Lana. Hi, Lana. Uh, no, no, it's not my voicemail, it's me. Uh, okay, fine. Leave a message. Beep. She's so adorable. Oh, he's never going to get angry again. If only he'd finished writing that song two days ago when Lana dumped him. That's it. There's only one thing to do. <laughs> You're right. That was the only thing to do. Now, let's get Lana to dump Trip again so he'll be angry enough to finish Ernesto's song. You guys had oxygen tanks? <laughs> oh, hey, Lana. You look lovely tonight. Lovely enough to date a senior. Not a freshman like Trip. I know, right? Is Trip here? Ah, uh, Trip isn't ready yet. He's in his room shaving his back hair. <laughs> Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> uh, it could be a while. There's a lot of hair back there. It's like a neck-to-butt hair farm. It's like he's giving a badger a piggyback ride. It's like the floor of a barber shop. It's like he took off a sweater and there's another sweater. <laughs> It's like the top of my head on his back. You're tall. <laughs> so, Lana. Trip tells us you're not very bright. Yeah, it's true. I don't get good grades, but my mom says it doesn't matter. You know, because I'm pretty. You do have to break up with Trip because, um... Because uh, he's got another girlfriend. Yes, that's why. Another girlfriend? Who is she? Uh, Lana. Hi, Lana. Oh, right. Angie. Angie? Yep, Angie. I can't believe Trip would do this. I know, right? <laughs> we were just as surprised as you were. Oh, here he comes. Do what you have to do. Oh, don't tell him we told you about Lana. I'm Lana. Right. Oh, hi, Lana. 
I didn't even need you to come in. Chirp, we have to talk about Angie. What about Angie? I want to know what's going on with you two. What's to know? I got her when I was 10 from some guy on the internet who didn't want her anymore. Uh... Ew! Do you, like, see her a lot? Oh, every day. Yeah, just last night when I was on the phone with you, she was right there on my lap. I can't believe I broke up with Bryce just for farting in a jar. <laughs> Trip, just tell me one thing. Do you love her? Oh, I love her more than anything in the world. I kiss her every morning, I clean her every night. Oh, and when I go out, I lock her in the closet so nobody else can touch her. <laughs> what? I don't even want to be with someone who would treat another girl that way. Wait, what girl? Angie, your other girlfriend. Wait, 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 who told you I had another girlfriend? <laughs> He's coming at natural. Okay. You're pretending to cook. You're pretending to clean. Are you milking a cow? No. I'm getting ready to fight a leprechaun. I can't believe what you said to Lana. You make me so angry. You make me want to squash you into a big ball. And then I want to kick that ball. And then I want to unsquash that ball so I can look in your eyes when I kick it again. What are you doing? I'm taking you to finish Ernesto's song now that you're finally angry again. That's stuff that you just said. That's the rest of the song. Now put me down. I'm going to hit you. Brilliant. Where does he come up with this stuff? We'll fight for the pot of gold when I get back. <laughs> this is so cool. Thousands of people are going to hear us play I Want to Punch Stuff. Then we get to see people punch stuff. <laughs> and now, playing an S for the best show's new theme song, Iron Weasel! <laughs> will come with, so once again, you're just making more work for yourself. <laughs> spend six months to a year in jail after running rampant through town, pantsing innocent pants-wearing bystanders. Well, we got six months to a year till we have to deal with that again. <laughs> so, Kate, how are things with you and Lana? Well, I explained the whole misunderstanding about the guitar, but mm -hmm. she broke up with me anyway. Yeah, she said she didn't want to go out with a guy who was so hairy he had to wax his back. Where'd she get that idea? I don't know. Beats me. We told her. Don't worry, dude. There'll be other girls. Oh, I'm not worried. You know, after dating Lana, I feel like I could get any girl I want. I could get the next girl that walks through that door. Grandma! Sorry, I forgot 
got to pick you up at the airport. But good news, Trip wants to ask you out. 